Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for being here. Uh, we are going to be doing a reading for the week of January 11th. And this, this is going to be for the 11th through the 17th. Um, we are going to talk about the energies that will be playing out uh, during this time for you Pisces. Um, what I do want to make sure that you know about this week is January 11th is um, 111, the first month in the year and the 11th day in the month. So um, that number 111 signifies manifestation and prosperity. Um, the number is also a warning from our angels and spirit guides to pay attention to um, to our thoughts, um, you know, because we really do manifest into reality anything that we think. Um, manifestation is very real. Um, and, you know, whatever you're thinking about continuously, please make sure that those thoughts are positive and try to release all of the negative um, that you are feeling, okay? I believe the, the new moon is um, approaching um, during this week as well. So release all of the negative energy that you are feeling during this time and try to have positive thoughts, okay? Um, I did meditate on your energies before I started the video. <clears throat> I do uh, want to um, let you know that I did feel that there was some uh, possible sneaky behavior going on in a relationship. And this relationship could be a love relationship, a work relationship, a friendship, any type of relationship, okay? We'll see what the energies, um, how the, what the energies, how the energies play out, and what spirit wants you to know. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and started my uh, cleansing with uh, my incense here. I'm burning some frank incense this morning, and we'll go ahead and see how how this plays out for you, Pisces. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, please give me the messages that Pisces needs to hear for the week of the 11th, January 11th through the 17th. Okay. I'm being called to pull one more. I usually do three, but I'm going to pull one more for you, Pisces. bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Pentacles. Is it ten? Yeah. The Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm seeing it as nine. <clears throat> that might be um, for a reason here, but Okay, sorry for the pause there. I just needed to make sure that, um, that that was what I was seeing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, we do have, I just want to point this out right off the bat. We have the Ace of Swords, okay? New beginning. <clears throat> um, the number one signifies not only positive changes, but new beginnings, okay? It symbolizes the emergence of opportunity. So I wanted to just point that out as well um, with, you know, what we talked about in the beginning. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. We have the Six of Wands here. So it looks like there's going to be um, some victory after um, a tough um, time. Uh, you may have been experiencing some, um, maybe some overwhelming or dark um, energies over the past couple of weeks um, and the that rainbow as you can see is is definitely making its way in after a uh, a rough rain right it's making its way over that um, horizon there 
Um, so you are definitely going to be victorious in something. Um, and you are starting something new and moving towards something um, that you definitely want to pursue. You're ready. You're ready to move into a new direction. Okay? And it looks like you will be victorious with this. Spirit is saying that um, you definitely are going to need some patience. However, you are definitely um, moving into a higher purpose. Um, you're feeling very centered and you know that this is going to be a worthy quest for you. Okay? Um, you are inspired to do something different and to move into um, a new light in some way. And with this Ace of Swords, that clarifies that the Ace of Swords is really about clarity and about a new beginning. Okay, Pisces. So you are definitely moving into a new beginning and you're ready for it. You are definitely ready for it. Um, <clears throat> with this Ten of Pentacles, I'm definitely seeing um, that you are going to be um, doing well. And, and it's either in the family or in with your money. But... I, you know, and that's what this card can signify, but I do feel like this is going to be in your money sector, okay? I do apologize if my voice sounds a little um, cracky, but I just woke up <laughs> like about an hour ago, and it takes me a while to wake up, so excuse me if I'm, if I sound a little tired still, <laughs> okay? So yes, I, be I believe this, um, this reading is going to be about um, how you are moving into a new direction with money so as i mentioned in the beginning there was um an energy that came out about shady behavior and it may play out in this reading later but um this could be in the workplace okay all right let's go ahead and get some clarifiers i'm going to use the santa muerte deck to clarify um, i will go ahead and place all of these decks in the description box if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks for yourself you can do that by clicking the link below okay next to the deck that you're interested in oh. i hope everyone is doing well um, and staying safe out there um, and having a clear mind clear intentions and uh, ready for a new year, right? I know I am. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to clarify for you, Pisces. <clears throat> Spirit, I'd like to see what the Six of Wands is for Pisces, please. So I do see that there is an energy of the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, at the bottom of the deck we have, we have the tower at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I'd like to say before, before I talk about this Knight of Pentacles, um, a few days ago Mars transitioned into Taurus in the solar system, okay? Taurus is about, um, you know, slow moving energy. It's um, really about foundations. And um, this transition in the sky is going to help us to build our foundations and ground us so that we can build something that we've started or um, will be starting. Okay, so this is going to help you with um, building something new and, you know, something that you're ready for. Because I did say earlier here, you're going to be victorious in something that you are ready to pursue. And you definitely will need the patience, okay? Taurus is going to force us to be um, to, to take slower action to really think about how we're going to move forward and have the patience to, to move into that direction. So I just want to clarify, um, because you do have the Knight of Pentacles. This is the card of Taurus. 
okay? The, um, the Knights take action and initiative on something. This is your energy, Pisces. You're definitely going to be moving into a direction um, that is going to be your wish fulfillment. This is going to really put you into a space in your life where you're going to be happy. You're going to be doing what you want to do. And it's going to really ground you and make you feel that you are doing you know, you are, you are on a worthy quest, as I said earlier. Okay, you are definitely on a worthy quest. This is beautiful. This is beautiful energy. You do have the tower that came out at the bottom of the deck, okay? This is really just something surprising that's going to happen um, that you're not, um, you're not seeing yet. Um, and it's going to kind of shake you up a little bit. And it might just be the universe pushing you, pushing you to to really um, get started and really um, find your way into um, into this new beginning, okay? And sometimes it takes the tower to um, to really push or nudge you into into a direction if you're not moving on your own, okay? If you're not taking the initiative or you're scared or you're reluctant or you're feeling like you can't do it, spirit and the universe will push you and they'll make you do it. Okay, if they feel that it's for your highest good. So, um, yeah, just remember that the, the universe is there to help you. Your spirit guides are there to help you. So if you need help, reach out. Reach out to them and ask them for help, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clarify this three of wands. <clears throat> spirit, please give me a uh, clarifiers for the three of wands here for Pisces. Another pinnacle card. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So I just want to make sure that we have um, enough of our beautiful grounding incense here to continue to, you know, cleanse the space during this reading. So this clarifies that you are moving into a new beginning, okay? The Three of Wands is saying that you're ready for this new beginning. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, and the Empress is here. This is a beautiful energy of being open-minded uh, and being plentiful, being abundant as well. So abundance is definitely on its way to you, Pisces. Um, this energy is beautiful. It's very nurturing, very creative. So if um, maybe if you are uh, an artist or if you are creating something that you are looking to sell in maybe your own business or opening your own business, um, this is going to be successful. It's definitely going to be something that you are, that you are called to do um, and something that um, is going to allow you to, um, to bring in the abundance that... Uh, that you want. That's beautiful, Pisces. Wow. That is so nice. I love that. I love that energy. Let's go ahead and see what this temperance card is. Spirit, what is this temperance card for Pisces? Thank you. Okay, so we have the eight of um, eight of swords and the chariot card okay so the eight of swords can talk about um, a couple of things it can talk about fast communication or even travel um, so if you may tr be traveling for um, work or you may be communicating um, to someone regarding a job okay and this is coming in very quick for you Pisces very quick for you okay um, the Chariot is um, card of Cancer, and this energy is really saying that um, you are moving forward with something effortless, eff effortlessly. I don't know why I always have a hard time saying that word. Effortlessly, okay? Um, it's going to be effortless work. It's going to. There is not going to be an obstacle in your way, and you are going to be victorious in whatever this is. If you are traveling for work, if you are um, communicating or working in the sector of communication, um, it could be that you are um, 
maybe a dispatcher or you working in uh, journalism or something that requires you to communicate. That's a possibility too. Whatever this is, it will resonate with you, um, but it is about communication and fast movement and um, possible travel. This is coming in very quick for you. Um, it's it's going to require you to have some patience because it is coming in quick, especially because um, with Mars and Taurus, Taurus is for forcing us to kind of take our time and really move slowly and be patient and ground ourselves. So make sure that even though this is coming in fast and um, the fast there's going to be fast communication or requirement to travel, just ground yourself. If you have to meditate in the mornings before you get on with your day or if you have to take a walk out in nature to allow yourself to begin your day, do that, okay? Take that time to, to really uh, spend with yourself before you take on the hustle and bustle of um, a project or a task or something throughout your day, okay? So make sure that you are doing that. And let's go ahead and see what this Ace of Swords is. Spirit, what is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please? So whatever this is that you are pursuing, Pisces, it's definitely going to bring in some happiness here. You have the Ten of Cups. Uh, you have the Six of Wands. I believe it's the Six of Wands. Yes. The Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. So... I want to um, make sure that you understand that there is a reiteration here. Let me show you. This nine of wands here. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's that's the six of wands. I apologize. I, I got that mixed up. Let me just make sure here. Okay, so this is the nine of wands. Apologize. So the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the um, Nine of Pentacles. So th whatever you are starting, Pisces, whatever you are moving towards um, and you're ready for, it's going to bring in happiness. This is the Ten of Cups. It's beautiful. Um, tens are um, the end of something and the beginning of something new. So um, you're definitely um, moving into a direction that is going to bring you your independence. It's going to make you feel um, a little overwhelmed at times, um, maybe feeling like you are um, working very hard and that you need to um, pace yourself, okay? Um, but this is definitely bringing in um, your independence. It's definitely bringing in, it's going to make you feel like you can um, definitely move forward independently. Um, that you're, you're not reliant on anyone else's help to move you forward in, you know, in any direction. And for me, as a reader, this is really showing me that um, this is in your finance um, sector, okay, in your life. You are going to be financially independent. Um, this is, you know, this is a big deal because with the way that the world has been uh, running right, you know, right now, it's hard for everybody um, but it looks like you're going to be coming out of a phase where you have been feeling lack you have been feeling like you've been rained on and and drenched and soaked with just craziness right maybe uncertainty maybe um, overwhelming um, debt but the <clears throat> the rainbow is coming out for you you are you have, excuse me, you have the energy of the Knight of Pentacles here taking, taking the leap forward, taking a step into the right direction, and you are going to be abundant this month. 
possibly starting next week. Um, there may be a new job coming your way. They may, there may be opportunities for you to move into this direction. Um, make sure you are um, dotting your I's and crossing your T's and making sure that everything's on the up and up. But I don't see anything here that will be hindering you. I do just feel that this is some beautiful energy. Um, this is definitely going to take you and propel you into a beautiful direction in the new year. Um, again, independence and uh, something that you are definitely feeling passionate about. Um, so have patience. Um, make sure that you are grounding yourself, okay? During this time, it's very important that you are um, taking the time to, to do your meditations, to take deep breaths, to walk out in nature, take out, even if it's not in nature, you can just take a walk somewhere, get some fresh air, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull one oracle before we close the reading today, Pisces. I hope that this message resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Um, that will notify you when I post new videos, okay? If this did not resonate with you today, please make sure that you are checking your sun, moon, and rising signs. And um, you, can find, you can find out what those signs are. If you pull your natal chart, you'll need your date of birth and the time you were born. You can do that by going to astro.com um, and you can pull your nail chart from that website. It's very easy. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get one Oracle card for Pisces. Spirit, please let me know what Pisces needs to hear. A new day dawns, Pisces. Yes. Yes. A new day dawns. You're ready for the new year, Pisces. You are. And you're going to be abundant, you're going to be successful, and you're going to be victorious in whatever you decide to do here. This is a wonderful journey that you are taking, um, something that is going to make you very happy, um, and something that you will be prosperous in. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope it did resonate with you. Um, if you, um, if you want, please go check out some of my other videos um, once you get your moon, your sun, moon, and rising signs, if you don't know them. So you can check out the other readings that I have for you, okay, Pisces? Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading right now. Um, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, um, happy new year. Um, I think it's going to be wonderful for you. I wish you the best of luck, Pisces. Okay, I'll see you next time. Namaste.